Now let's talk party politics. Edo State Governorship election is scheduled to hold 21st of September this year. With political parties done with their primaries, the emergence of more than one candidate in some major political parties may leave the court to determine the authentic candidates. The Liberal Party, for instance, under the leadership of Julius Abure as national chairman, produced a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Olumide Akwata, as winner of the Liberal Party governorship um, election, um, primary election, rather. However, the faction and national chairman of the party, Lamidia Papa, announced the conduct of a parallel governorship primary and named Anderson Nasemota as the Edo Labour Party governorship candidates, as well as Monday Mawa, who is his running mate. I'm joined now by factional candidate of the Labour Party in Edo State, Anderson Nasemota, who joins us live from Abuja studio. Also joining us is the Labour Party chairman in Edo State, Kelly Obaloy. Uh, live from Benin City. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Let's begin from Benin City, where the uh, Liberal Party chairman there is joining us from. It, I'm, I'm sure you followed a very keenly development of event, um, particularly when you hear, for instance, that um, the Court of Appeal, that the Liberal Party, the uh, Papa faction, um, has now secured a stay of execution as regards um, the Court of Appeal judgment that affirmed Julius Abure as chairman of the party. What does this mean for leadership within the Liberal Party? Mr. Baloy. Well, I, I want to think that Lifemi is talking to me on this question. Yes, please. Yes, please go ahead. I, I want to think your question is to me, right? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, well, uh, let me, I will start by congratulating my partner, and his national chairman, for the victory we have sustained so far. Uh, still of execution, yes, it's the right of the people to do, but that does not uh, remove the judgment that has been given. Uh, uh, the effect is that we will be more resolute and uh, more strong and in pursuance of the objective of the party. Uh, I do not see it as destructive at all. Uh, after all, the issue has been the court. So to say they should be still of execution, uh, it's uh, extremely negative if you do afterwards. So for us, we are standing by, we are assuring that we are not distracted. I hear you clearly, but we're hearing that... Um Apart from Anderson, there's another individual who is called the UK-based legal practitioner, Hilton Adahusa, uh, making three different candidates from the Liberal Party in Edo State. Uh, does that bother you? Sorry, can you come with the question again, please? I'm saying there are now three individuals who are laying claim to be candidates of your party in Edo. Does that bother you? Uh, well, I, I don't get that because uh, we have just one single candidate. That is why uh, Saulo Media Carter does all. Uh, so uh, if we are not bothered about it because that itself is a border of illegality and it will hold no water at the end of the day. So we don't get bothered because our take is that uh, all of this is meant to distract the party, uh, the party that has come of uh, age now here uh, to ensure that uh, uh, the people of this country are completely taken out of door drums as a government that will be provided by the other political parties. So, you know, Kelly Obaloy is the chairman of the Liberal Party in Edo State and he joins us live from Benin City. Thank you for staying the course on the program, Mr. Obaloy. Um, seems like I can hear you clear, clearer now. Uh, are you saying that the Liberal Party in in Benin doesn't recognize both Anderson Asemota and Hilton Idausa as candidates? Well, listen, I, I think we're having problems with, uh, we're having problems here because right now the, your voice is very faint. I can't catch your questions properly. Can you hear me now, comrade? Can you hear me? 
I can yes, hear you I'm very hearing, clearly. Hearing you very simply, unless you make your voice louder, I will not capture your question. All right, so I'm going to try to raise my voice. Can you hear me now, comrade? Okay. I was asking that, did you say that the Labour Party in Edo doesn't recognize the candidacy of Anderson Asemuta and Hilton Idausa? No, I didn't say so. I have said to you very clearly and in clear terms that the only candidate with midwife from our primaries, which was seamless, is Barista Olumide Akpata. And that is the only candidate of Labour Party that exists in Nigeria in Edo State today. And that whichever may be having falsified by the APAPA group does not exist in, in as far as we are concerned. And I'm also aware that I make as an arbiter and an institution that is uh, highly respected, understands who the candidate of the party is, and that is the Lumidia Apaka. I'm not sure uh, they will take anything short of that. So let me take you quickly back to what happened two days to your party primaries when you and the national chairman uh, were arrested. We're told, for instance, that um, perhaps we should begin by asking what really happened because we've heard from the police and other stakeholders except from you. Well, that arrest was very, uh, it was an unfortunate one, but it happened, however. Uh, you see, uh, where the police took us in, uh, when they told us that they, they considered the petition written, uh, but at SY, uh, you see that the party has been since been removed. Now, in about uh, 28, 29th of December last year, he was in the city and he encountered a book where he was beaten up. And that his, uh, his thinking, uh, which was absurd, uh, was that I and the national chairman must have might have died. But uh, how true could that be? Uh, it is all of this that. Uh, they want to do and cause uh, distraction for the Labour Party. I'm not so sure that all of these are coming from them alone. Uh, the, the opposition of political parties cannot be left of this. Uh, the mastermind uh, must uh, also cut across all of these uh, other persons who do not wish the Labour Party to exist. Because it's unimaginable that about two or three days to our primary, the national chairman and I, we are taking in the intention was to dissolve the primary, and at the end of the day, the party will be unable to produce a candidate, and then the wins and caprices of these distractors would have been met. But unfortunately for them, we were released, accordingly participated in the primaries, prosecuted it, and meanwhile, volume is their And the intention could not be unconnected with the fact that they had conceived to send the teacher's name to INEC. So that at the end of the day, if our programs were fully disrupted, their name will fail. But they have failed, as you can see. Uh, this is their extent. We were taken in by the police, not because we committed any fraud, not because we stole money, but because someone just sits somewhere and imagined that, oh, I encountered some difficulties, therefore, so two persons on their own, who were never thinking of him, we are responsible for why that challenge uh, he got ever came to him. You know that um, one of the aspirants at the time, Kenneth Maso Agbon, uh, was quoted to have said that Olumide Akpata was involved in your arrest and that of the Labour Party national chairman. Is that something you can now confirm? Well, I, I, I'm not aware of that. Uh, there are no, there are no uh, legal indications. There are uh, no sufficient evidences before me to link Olumide Akpata to what happened. And so it, that must have been the opinion of a uh, rice man. Uh, I'm not sure it's something I want to talk about. So I spoke with the PPRO Zone 5 um, headquarters at that time, and he alleged that a firearm was found in your possession at the time of arrest. Was that true? Well, very unfortunately, uh, I, I was not even arrested in my house. And so there is no search that was conducted in no, my house. No, he said that the firearm was found in the vehicle where you, both you and the national chairman, you know, were accosted from. Again, again, at the time of arrest, I was not directly with national chairman. 
maybe you have the same record straight from me now. I was I was in the ESS attending the security meeting when the information of the arrest of national chairman came to me, and we were told that he was arrested and put in Zone 5. I left the SDSS straight to Zone 5 on my own to check why he was arrested. It was in that process the police took me in to say that my name was mentioned in the petition. So at the time of the arrest of the national chairman, I was not in the car with him. And the national chairman at the time of arrest had his security agencies, the police, and of course the DSS attached to him. A man who is already guarded in that, in that manner, he will not have any reason to keep in his possession a firearm of the, of the kind they are talking about, of a firearm of any kind, I need to say. So when you say if there is a firearm or that question is that firearm or fine with him, what are they talking about? Who is saying that? You know, he has he has his police he, he has his policemen with him who were they themselves armed. He had the DSS man attached to him at that point in time. So when you say firearm or fine with him, how correct could that be? Absolutely. So I'm just thinking right now, um, what you consider the chances of the Labour Party in this election? I know your party is coming into this election, you know, having won the presidential uh, poll last year. But there are concerns about the, you know, challenges at the national level, allegations about misappropriation of funds, and then add to it the, the faction led by Mr. Papa. Well, beyond that, uh, beyond that, uh, uh, Papa and his uh, travelers and asked for fear of execution. We have a judgment already, uh, which clearly indicates, as uh, the you know, clearly air, uh, that uh, uh, Papa and all those that do not have uh, have a low cost to challenge anything in the Labour Party. As of now, they are no longer members of Labour Party as it were, and so that holds nothing that we go to be stampeded about. Uh, can I assure you that we have been wife Olumide Akata and is a candidate to beat in the election that will happen in the Dutte. We are home and dry and going to eat with our head, head high, and we are winning the election. I can afford, I can afford to tell you this. Kelly Ogbalo is the chairman of the Labour Party in Edo State. Thank you so much for talking to us. We'll continue this conversation subsequently. It is my pleasure for having you. Thank you. All right, let's turn now to our Abuja studio. We understand that the factional candidate of the Labour Party just arrived, Anderson Semota. Let's see what we can make happen in the few minutes that we have, uh, Mr. Semota. The Court of Appeal last week affirmed uh, Julius Abure as chairman of your party, overturning the position of the High Court at the judgment that stopped him and two others uh, from parading themselves as national officers. Doesn't this automatically nullify your emergence as Liberal Party candidate? Mr. Semota, I'm asking about the validity of your candidacy vis-a-vis -vis the position of the Court of Appeal. Following very closely developments in Edo State, all of the top three parties, APC, PDP, and the Liberal Party, seem to have more than one candidate who have emerged from their primary election. And we're following closely uh, what would happen, uh, particularly some of the cases that have now turned to the court. We understand that the deputy governor of um, Edo State, Philip Shaibo, has now sued his party as well as the party candidate that emerged at the Ogwemodio Stadium in Benin City. Uh, we'll talk more about this in the coming days. So thank you everyone for being a part of it. You can watch it again at midnight and at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I am Nifemi Okuntoe. Bala Hamed Chinobu, do solemnly swear.